Roadhousing. We Roadhousing. So, I've been watching this movie like five minutes at a time because I keep on pressing like down on my keyboard or the scroll wheel because I literally think I'm watching a TikTok. This whole entire movie feels like a, a giant TikTok video. Like, they have scenes. It's almost like in the 40 minutes I've watched, there's been like a thousand different human beings. Like, it's almost like they paid the director to like each have like 30 seconds or something, and it's like a collaboration of that. Like, seriously, every scene is just crammed with people. And it's like, they'll just do like a whole scene of a woman singing. Like, and they'll just do, like, the whole song. It's just, like, a three-minute scene, dude, of just, like, this blonde chick singing. And it's just, like, every scene, there's a fight, too. And it's just the most artificial, like, Disney Channel, like, Hey, I was standing there. No. And then, it's like, there's punches in the background, and it's, like, uh, it's just the worst, most bizarre movie I've ever seen. I swear to God, there's been, like, 70 main characters in in 40 minutes and this like black girl like takes a metal bat there's like a fight outside of course there's always a fight in every scene it just makes you wonder like what is this place what are all these like upscale good-looking people doing here fighting it's just the most bizarre movie just like people who clearly would never do bad behavior are it's just like it's so weird and they like CGI all the fight scenes like look at this post Malone attack sequence hey, have you ever done this you gotta see this what I feel like it was how did I get to that part before oh here it is Look how stupid that looks. I feel like I'm watching a cutscene. Dude, this is the worst movie of all time. Look, even his leg went up like a girl. You see Post Malone? Look, his, his leg at the very end of the frame, like it goes like up like a ballerina punch. Like, look, look at his leg. Like, it goes up like a little girly, like a little, uh That's just the worst scene ever. And then there's just, like, this fat girl who's, like, got more screen time than anybody. Hold on. I mean, that's just, sorry, I'm, I'm, it's sarcasm. But it's, like, this random waiter girl. This woman. And she always is checking out, um... Jake Gyllenhaal in every scene like she's bringing him like food on this boat basically like he just comes to this town and he's like why is it called Roadhouse and he asks like three times he's like but it's not but Roadhouse is like a thing like so it doesn't have a name and it's just like he keeps bringing it up and it's just like cringe it's like what is this stupid this fat girl she's in so she has so much screen time it's like ridiculous and she's a horrible actress. She's literally just looking at Jake Gyllenhaal's body like every frame. It's like hilarious. But yeah, this black girl like goes outside with a metal baseball bat because there's a fight. And she goes, hey, you guys, get out of here. Like, this show is literally a TikTok comp compilation just trying to make random people look good. Like, I swear to God. Like, I'm, I'm convinced at this point. Like, look at this guy. God, see how much there's so much crammed into this movie. It's just like 40 minutes I feel like I've been watching for a year. He beats the living shit out of you, so really interesting guy overall. That was a brilliant analysis. Sam, throw these oh yeah, and he is shaving on the boat, and like every time he puts the razor up to his neck, he like dart, he like pushes his head forward into the razor, like, and it clearly is his fault. And he's like... And then he gets up, and it looks like he's going to attack the guy that cut his neck with the razor blade but he like turns and he like goes over to the boat driver instead and punches him instead which is m supposed to make us believe like oh this guy's so deep and smart 
he knows it's not the guy who's holding the razor, it's the guy driving the boat. Wow, holy crap, what a smart mob boss guy. Why you wanna tear down the roadhouse? Why is it like all bitrate fucked up like that? Well, maybe it's time we get your old man involved. Seriously, 70 different characters, like, main characters. Everybody's getting their, like, screen time. It's like the director is, it's just the most bizarre movie. Like, see every scene, look, it's just a random person. Like, I swear to God, this is just, like, maybe it was, like, this guy's friends with everybody in the town, and he's, like, everybody says, can I be in it, can I be in it, can I be in it, and he's just, like, okay. That's the only thing I could think of. It's just the most bizarre movie ever made. Oh yeah, and then this like white bartender kid like some guy takes out a knife and like slashes at him and he like dodges it with CGI. They CGI every punch in this movie. It's just like sped up. So he like dodges it really fast and then he punches the guy like with really fast CGI and then he looks at his fist like, "Oh my god, did I just do that?" Like Jake Gyllenhaal's fucking AOE buff because Jake Gyllenhaal is there and everybody's like Oh yeah, that's the thing. Like Jake Gyllenhaal is there, and now they're starting to fight against the fighters. Like it's it's a bar notorious for people fighting, and now that Jake Gyllenhaal is there, the the waiters are now s fighting back. And then they like two of the waiters like throw guys out the door, and then they like wipe their hands like that. And there's like music playing, and it's just the cringiest. Literally, they'll just like oh yeah, every scene is a fight too. Just so awkward it's, it really is it feels like a a tiktok it's the strangest thing look she just checks out jake gyllenhaal every sing every single second look just watch her for two seconds wait hold on wait till when he has his shirt off she can't even like look at the camera like who is this bitch she has like more screen time than jake gyllenhaal Alright, I can't keep playing it or it's not going to let me upload this video at all. But basically, it's just like she has her lines and she's like looking at his like chest while she's talking. And it's just like, it's not supposed to be funny. It's, it's like, so it's just like weird. It's just so weird. Here, let me play it. Help you unpack? Uh, no, I just have this suitcase. <laughs> That's the whole time. She's always doing that. Like, that that was just one example. It's like, how freaking obvious and, like, weird is that? Who is she? It's just the owner of the restaurant bringing him breakfast the next morning. Why? Why? He's a, t he's a tourist who just, like... It's just weird, man. It's just a weird show. I just... There's just no... Re like... There's no channel or frequency of reality where that would happen anywhere. It's like it's almost like somebody who's never left their bedroom in their whole entire life is now responsible for making a, a TV show, and they and they don't know how humans behave. It's so weird. So Conor McGregor, I haven't even gotten to Conor McGregor yet. And that's it's like literally like I feel like I'm playing like. Yakuza Zero, you know, and it's just like they're introducing characters every two minutes. Alright, thanks for watching.